Cheers. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm off to the Welsh streets in Liverpool and I've come to check out something that's been put on the side of the former Empress pub. Now the Empress pub used to be Ringo Starr's local, Ringo Starr being from the Beatles. Um, he's had a mural painted right across the side of the pub um, in honour of Ringo. Ringo Starr used to live at the side of the pub in number 10 Admiral Grove um, and also the pub uh, featured on one of Ringo Starr's solo albums, Sentimental Journey. So yeah, I just thought, come down today, just have a little look at it. From pictures that I've seen, it looks really colourful and it looks like his head is really massive. Looks a little bit like his, his nose is sort of oversized, but yeah. Yeah, so I just thought I'd come down just to check it out myself and just do a bit of filming while I'm here. So yeah, I'll catch us all in a minute. And if you didn't already know, Ringo Starr is also famous for this. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. Right, the one with the red door is Nye Madron Street. And I imagine Steve being the birthplace of Ringo Starr. Nicely uh, all refurbished now. Back when I last visited here, it was all sort of like tourist graffiti all over it. So yeah, let's move on to Admiral Grove. Right, so here we are on Knight Park Street. And here's the artwork commissioned by a guy called John Culshaw. As you can see, it's very, very vibrant. It's the Fab Four there, and uh, Ringo's big head. There's an octopus. Now, I'm not that much into art, but oh, there's a yellow submarine here as well. Yeah, it's quite nice. I did just get the drone up, but uh, fortunately it was slightly windy. So now, yeah, that one got swerved. Be nice if the sun was actually hitting it. Light it all up. It's not quite nice now. Have a look at Mr. Culture. There he is on Instagram. So this is Admiral Grove. Ringo Starr used to live in number 10 down here. Which I'm now going to take you to. How long that took. Quick gander around the pub. Not much to see, like. This building appeared on the sleeve of Ringo Starr's first solo album, Sentimental Journey. So that's getting cleared out. It's the Fab Four there on the window. I do like the way he's included the drain pipe in this paint. And it is in all its glory. Now let's take a little wander down Admiral Grove. I say Ringo Starr was born in Madron Street and later moved across the road because apparently it was cheaper to uh, number 10 Admiral Grove. Right here we have the house, number 10. I'm not going to film inside because, you know, but yeah. That is where Ringo Starr lived before he made it big with the Beatles. Apologies for the wind noise, slightly windy today. I to try and get the drone up before, but bit of a fail. It's 
have one last little look at this before I scoot. So you can't really see much because it's uh, it's in total shadow, but I don't know what's going to look like on the camera. Tell you what, they'll cross over, get a bit of a better picture. Got quite a lot of interest this this painting. There you go, there's a bit of a better shot. Yeah, John Culshaw 86 on Instagram. You fancy looking them up? I did plan a big drone shot up by Parky, but uh, once the drone went over that sort of roof there, it was all over the show, so I thought, you know what, can't be arsed with losing it, so bring it in and uh, just get on foot and take some footage. So yeah, that's it, that's your Ringo Star Muriel by John Culshaw. Right, so there you have it, the Ringo Star Muriel by John Culshaw. Painted slap bang on the side of the uh, former Empress pub. As I say, I don't know what's going to happen at the place. Um, I've heard it's going to be some sort of Beatle themed hotel, but highly unlikely. I think it's going to be apartments or flats. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I had all plans of getting a drone up, getting some drone shots, but I knew the wind was a little bit naughty. I thought I could get away with it, but you no. Know, once I got it sort of like, you know, over roof height. It started to sort of sway everywhere and I didn't fancy it going halfway down like parky or possibly lost. So yeah, as always, cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.